away from that, let's move to the National Assembly where the social media influencer, Mr. Martins Otse, popularly known as Very Dark Man, and his lawyer, Mr. Deji Adeonju, has ar arrived at the National Assembly complex for the Joint Committee investigation allegations of corruption against the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Nigerian Correctional Services. Recall that controversial cross-dresser, Mr. Idris Okune, alias Bobriski, who was convicted and sentenced to prison for Naira abuse in April 2024, accused the EFCC and NCOS of demanding bribes from him to enable him to serve his term in the VIP section of the Kirikiri Medium Custodial Center in Lagos. Trouble started following a voice note shared by Very Dark Man, in which Bob Risky was heard claiming that after his conviction and sentencing for abuse of the Naira notes in April, his godfather, in collaboration with the Controller General of the Nigerian Correctional Service, arranged for him to serve a six-month sentence in a private apartment. Now let's get the proceedings of the hearing. It was also reported that some EFCC operatives demanded a sum of 15 million naira as bribe to give Bobriski what is termed as soft landing in his case. Worthy of note is another financial inducement of an alleged 10 million naira to Falanax in their offer to Bobriski to facilitate his release through the Minister of Justice using presidential pardon. Flowing from the above, it is very clear that these allegations of corruption are weighty, weighty controversies against two of the nation's key agencies. They are symbols of national unity, honor, and discipline. Hence, all must be ready to give the fullest cooperation as we try to get to the root cause and arrival the facts of the matter. So I didn't see any reason why I should keep the audio. I kept the receipt of his payment, which he paid that day. He paid that day. So immediately I got it, I just smiled. So he was actually guilty. But here's the thing. But Brisky didn't know that this guy recorded everything. But because Bob Risky, obviously, I have the platform, yeah? He understands how I roll. So he quickly paid, but I said, no, it has to go there. Now, I need to clarify something about um, Femi Falano and um, the Falano Chambers. Because apparently right now, some people are taking advantage of um, what is going on to target um, Femi Falano. And um, I would like to still say here now that um, I apologize to him for the dent on his name. But however, it's so sad that his name was inside that audio. I could not believe it as well. That was why I, that was the part that even irritated me more, which I said I refuse to believe that I will be part and party to something like that that would make people take somebody out of prison and to get a pardon. So um, yeah, I have the recording. I have one part. I can't give you guys the whole part because I don't know if Bob Risky Godfather is here to collect everything. There was social media hype because Idris' friends and some family members donated chairs, 21 plastic chairs, to the visit area environment that doesn't have, they have inconvenient chairs. Chairs were not enough. So when they come to visit sometimes, hello. When they come to visit us and they discover that there is lack of chairs. So they went and donated chairs and, put, wrote, and uh, wrote the name of Idris Okuneye Olarewaju as the, donor, uh, as, the person, as the donor. Then it, the next minute it went viral on social media, sensing that this may cause security breach, the controller took action. Who, who moved him? Who moved him? I was not present, but my... Ah, let me say that. I was not present, but let me tell you. I draw the attention of the, of the Honorable House to the fact that the onus of proving these grievous allegations against officers of the Commission rests squarely 
on the accusers in this case, the ex-convicts and the very dark man. It is noteworthy that the commission extends an invitation to the ex-convict and the very dark man to come and assist the commission in unraveling the identities of the officers of the commission to whom the alleged bribe of the sum of 15 million naira was paid. Regrettably, up to this moment, none of them have honored the invitation.